Hello, everyone. This is Monsef Afkar, and uh, thank you so much for joining us in this new call of Your Divine Uniqueness. So, yeah, happy to connect with you again live, uh, and also uh, to connect with those of you who will be watching or listening to the replay. So, thank you for your presence. And uh, also, very excited that Bonnie Sarator is back on the show. Uh, I think the last time she joined us, it was last year, and uh, it's it was really really powerful experience that's that we had and received like really amazing feedback about the how powerful the experience we had like from the the guidance the wisdom she shared and also the uh, um the the group clearing that that she did and and also like for me personally I really love her work I experienced it myself um it, it was it was really profound for me like big shift like on uh physical level like i had some issues like with heart palpitations and i did some um like recordings of of some of her uh um activations and clearings and really i i i saw a big difference and just the issues uh, stopped after uh some some uh clearings and uh also i i used her clearings like whenever like i felt something i'm going through a shift um uh, in 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 the past uh, few years, and uh, it was very very helpful. So very happy that she is here with us today. And for those of you who are who are new to her, she is an expert energy clearer, master tracker, and spiritual accelerator. And uh, the subject today uh, is mastering self and expanding into higher consciousness. So we'll be discussing that um, in the beginning, and also um, after that, she will guide us on. Um, on a group clearing. It will be very profound and in-depth group clearing, so uh, stay tuned for that. And then we will have a Q&A where you can ask Bonnie your questions. So as always, if you have, um, if you want to talk to Bonnie, you can raise your hand on Zoom by pressing the reactions, then raise hand um, on your phone by pressing star nine, and also by typing your questions on the chat boxes on Zoom and on YouTube. And um, yeah, so with that, Bonnie, welcome back to the show. Very happy to have you with us. Yeah, I'm really glad to be here, Monsef. I remember the one, I remember where I was. I was in California. I remember that. Mm -hmm. And but that was our first time together. So that was yeah. really, really fun, really yeah. awesome. So thank yeah. you for ha having me back for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I was happy to, to have you on the show. And uh, yeah, so, so, um, so we are talking about self mastery and connection or expanding to higher. Um, consciousness and mm -hmm. also we hear a lot about the the current energies how they are supporting that and supporting mm -hmm. like stepping into um i don't know if we can call it timeline but like more into true self and the mm -hmm. the our mastery so yeah. how, how do you see the the energies uh the current energies and maybe if you can tell us what um what it is about uh regarding us and yeah. showing who, uh, our true self Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So I'm sure everyone really gets that, you know, we're in some kind of expansion, we're in acceleration. And I, it's like the new paradigm. So there's a frequency of the new paradigm that has a lighter vibration. And remember, this has been started coming in many years back. Remember, we taught the dawn of, of the Aquarian age, you know, that type of thing. So that was the beginning of the the, the new paradigm. And What's happening in every the entire planet, everybody is affected. So what's happening is when you bring light to a, a dark area, meaning your subconscious, okay? When you bring light into the darkness, it exposes energies and energies start to lift and come and become more uh, conscious. Lift, they're lifted up so you start to feel them. And that's what's happening. That's what's happening globally as we watch the entire world, all the things that are happening. This is all part of you know, the new paradigm because... The darkness has to be revealed and exposed in order for the shift to happen. Okay, remember we've been in the darkness, you know, the the dark, all the negativity and the greed and the hatred and the prejudices and all that black yucky stuff. Well, it's inside of everybody on some level. So what's happening now is we're pulling it up, and in that place of pulling up, you know, people are going through many things. But when you understand what's really happening, that this is the transformation, and it's got to come from within everyone. Then, and then you understand that, oh, all it is, all it means is old stuff, old wounding, old hurts, all the, you know, damage, the traumas and the PTSDs and 
all the things we've experienced throughout our soul's evolution, it's coming up. So when we start to unravel that, our lives change and our vibrational frequency starts to match more and more of the frequency of the new paradigm. And uh, as that happens, the heart begins to open. We find ourselves less, you know, not judging others. We're no longer hating others. <laughs> you know, not everybody's hating that, but, and, and the subconscious is there. Okay. But um, the greed and the, you know, the victimizations and the poor me's and the blaming, all of that starts to shift and change because as that heart begins to open, what we're experiencing is unconditional love. So in my world, in my journey, you know, I, I experience unconditional love for everyone. I don't care who they are, what they've done. It's in me now, finally, you know, it's like, I've been working hard to get here, but it's there. And I experience unconditional love. I don't find myself judging, blaming, finding fault, you know, that type of thing. So it becomes more of an experience of who we truly are, the true nature of who we are, which is truly in the core is pure love and light. That's it. That's that God consciousness. We're all, we are all creator consciousness, you know, in a body, uh, you know, you know uh, physical form, but it is creation itself. And we are already that, but of course, with all the experiences we forget, we don't remember, but as we heal, you know, as we unravel these deep core wounds and misperceptions and the victims and all the things we've lived, um, then we begin to really feel uh, the heart opening and that experience of unconditional love. It, it's just that place where nothing, nothing rises up where you're finding fault with somebody or you're blaming them or judging them or making them wrong. But this is the journey into the new paradigm. This is, and this is what it looks like. What we're experiencing globally, this is the divine plan unfolding, and this is what it looks like. I've been people. I've been tracking humanity <laughs> basically all my life, but professionally, when I I say professionally because that's when I actually started charging. Uh, that was in 1986. But prior to that, I was still tracking the world, still looking at humanity, and you know all the why are we so wounded? Why are we so hateful? Why are we so broken, shattered, whatever, and then I, you know, start really tracking and working with thousands and thousands of people, I have good answers. I know, I know what's up. So this is my, what I bring to the table, basically. But basically, you know, we all, people want that heart to be open, but sometimes people are afraid to face themselves. But here's what happens. I just want to bring some clarity here. Your reactions to whatever's happening in your life is the doorway into your subconscious. So if you have a reaction, doesn't matter what it is, you could be feeling bad or hurt that, you know, someone's in suffering or you're seeing things or witnessing things, or you find yourself having judgments or condemning or whatever, those are reactions. But if you surrender to those feelings in, the, in that reactive state, you start to go into the subconscious and go into your own wounding. Remember, you know, we don't react unless we got something inside of us, some kind of wounding. Otherwise, we have an open heart, unconditional love for all peoples, no matter what that suffering is. You know, so all of us, you know, we, we really want to be happy. Everyone wants to be happy, truly. Okay? We, we just don't have all the teachings. We don't know how to get there. We do our best. Everyone does their best. And that's what this, you know, this whole time period is really supporting us. I, I know it doesn't feel like it. But it is. It, it's like we everyone's got so much support and help around them. And think of this: you have your own higher levels, your oversoul levels, God self levels, conscious levels. This is all you, not somebody else. Okay. This is where we get that direct knowing. This is where we're connected to Creator God consciousness. And when we connect with our own selves in these ways, we find ourselves being more divinely guided. You know, more more opening, more awarenesses and less angst in our lives and our bodies. But basically, you know, this is the, this has been prophesized. You know, there's time, the other be beings way, way, way back that have talked about this time. This is the shift of the ages. We are in the shift of the ages. We are coming out of darkness. We are moving into light. So everything is aligning to support that. And I do know that it doesn't feel that way when you are in suffering, when you are in pain when you're struggling and worried and concerned about your well-being or finances or, you know, health or whatever people are going through, it, this is the journey. You know, it's like you've, you've agreed to these experiences at a soul level. You've agreed to have the experiences that you're having. And a lot of the people that are, um, that we're witnessing in other parts of the world 
where there's war going on. I mean, people, this is all part of what the soul agreements are. So people, we have soul agreements. We are playing out our soul agreements. We are playing out everything we've agreed to do. We just don't remember that we agreed. And sometimes we're like, why would I agree to that? You know, <laughs> and we agree because we've made some kind of belief conclusion from based on past experiences, past lives. We didn't heal that stuff. So now we're now here it is again. And the, the another thing about the new paradigm is we have the opportunity to really unravel all these past lives of the same old, same old, same old wound, same old wound, poor me, not love, not wanted, not enough, don't belong, you know, victim, you know, all that energy. We've been playing that out for, you know, hundreds of thousands of years, real literally, in with people's incarnating and the, the, with the experiences on earth and all of that. And so now it's like, now is the time to clear it, unravel it, heal it, and let's move in. Let's step into that new paradigm that really is about love and light. It doesn't mean that everything can be perfect, okay? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying, though, is a lot of the heart stuff, a lot of the feelings, you know, like right now, a lot of people, it's like my tribe. It's not, you, you know, tribe against tribe. It's not going to be that. It's not about tribe against tribe. It's about coming together in unity and you know, recognizing that everyone is a divine being, everyone, and, you know, rather than hating or judging or causing harm or feeling there's not enough, the new paradigm is not about that. It's about that place of heart opening, the recognition that everyone really is a divine being, and, and then treating people with that kind of knowing and understanding, but it actually comes from within where we're no longer have us wounded inside. So now we're like literally living in that place of the heart's open, heart open, and it just feels really good. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I love that. And like when we connect more and more to the heart, when it is, it, it becomes more and more open. Um, yeah. Like you mentioned, like we start, how to say, we don't feel that connection, like strong connection to identities um, like before. And, and also I noticed for myself, like before I wanted to, connect only with people who maybe are similar to me but then with time i i want to connect with everyone like i don't need like <laughs> because it's the, the connection is is there we are all all one yes yes um, well, and, so that's cool yeah. because i just want to just say really quickly because that's I, that's how i used to I, in my in my past you know behind <laughs> me <laughs> yeah. i only wanted to be around this is when i had the renee's you know the center i only want to i you know people who are on a path who are seeking consciousness or doing their healing work otherwise i can't relate to you you know i mean how limited is that so clearly that has shifted i'm right with you on that one monsef where we really want to connect with everyone no matter who they are their beliefs everyone yeah i just wanted to say that because you reminded yeah. me <laughs> yeah beautiful and uh also, also, you mentioned that many times we react to reality or other people based on on past experiences or past lives, and also I noticed that because we are shifting, it feels like uh, uh, how to say, it? like past like some experiences happening, but then I need to ask my, myself like the the judgment I, I'm making or the opinion I'm making about it is it true or or is it not or is it fake like based on on a past trauma uh because many times i i i just realized it's, it's just some limiting beliefs that i created in the past or maybe they are mm -hmm. are not healed um so that does it happen in general when we are moving from like one state of being to another like shifting in general mm -hmm. yeah so what happens is whenever we have an experience it gets anchored into our subconscious it's not that we're thinking about it but any kind of trauma, any kind of, you know, where we, where we're feeling any kind of angst in the body, you know, we, we, it gets buried. And then in the subconscious, you know, that feeling like, like the feeling like when's the next shoe going to drop, you know, or when's, you know, you, you're moving forward and things are kind of flowing and you think then that right back there's that feeling like something's going to happen, you know, it's too good to be true or whatever, you know? So that's, that's what happens we have these experiences that get anchored into the subconscious then we begin to believe and buy into that it's going to keep happening. Unfortunately, when we have that, because what's, remember what we, our reality is created by our subconscious. So whatever we're holding in the subconscious, I guarantee you, 
you're going to, that's what you're creating in the world. That's what I'm creating. That's what Monsef is creating. We're all creating from our subconscious. So you can get a sense of what do you believe? Okay. Like, for example, I remember in my world, I used to be destitute <laughs> for most of my life, you know, and it was always that, that struggle, struggle, fear, anxiety. And then as I started to clear and heal these deeper wounded places where I felt like I wasn't loved and belong, you know, I'm going to be killed, that type of stuff. Once I cleared that, then my whole world started shifting and changing. So people, your inner, your whole world is based on your inner world of your, of the subconscious. And that's why for me, it's like clear out the wounding and your whole world starts to shift and change. So yeah, it's like we're, you know, we hold stuff and then, then we step into the world and we're really wanting to move forward. But if we haven't cleared out or healed some of these woundings, then we'll still get in the same more and more. Then what happens if we start collecting more proof and more evidence that, oh, you know, another shoe's going to drop, something bad's going to happen. And just the cycle keeps on going until we shift it. So people, I'm telling you straight up, I've been tracking humanity, thousands and thousands of people for all my life. And I know what works and what doesn't. I watch the energy shift inside of people. And when it does, I watch their whole world shift and change. So facing oneself, you know, healing your, your, the emotional body, healing the traumas, healing the places, the misperceptions and beliefs and conclusions about yourself that you're going to see reflected out into the world, shift all that and your whole world changes. So you're, the, you're pivotal, you're instrumental, you're the key to changing your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> um, I love that. And also like when, when we shift to that, like taking responsibility responsibility of our own experience and uh, like transmuting our our wounds, it gives us or it becomes easier for us to to have compassion or understanding toward others. Right, and right. It, it's like we we start seeing the bigger picture. Like it's mm -hmm. like we are all having the same experience, having different wounds, and going right. through that and react reacting based on that. And then it's like the relationships, become, it can be uncomfortable like during some time, but it becomes easier to, to just shift the energy of, uh, of those mm -hmm. relationships. Right. And I do want to say something too about the emotions. Like, for example, I'm, I'm sure people have know this. Many people know this now. I remember when I was first teaching stuff, it's like people didn't really get this. But when we have a reaction, when we have an emotion or we see something happening, and we feel the sad, we think we're feeling what that person's feeling, but we're, what's happening, and I, this is really important for people to get this piece, you're not feeling somebody else's emotions. When you're feeling a sadness, or when you're feeling hurt, or when you're feeling traumatized, or whenever, by what you're hearing or seeing, that's your pain. It's yours. That's, what, that's what's getting activated, and it seems as though you're looking at somebody else because you're seeing their pain and you're feeling all your pain thinking you're feeling for them. Okay. You're not, you can only feel your own pain. You are not feeling somebody else's. If I cut my hand and say, feel my pain and you've never cut your hand, you don't know what it feels like. But if you've ever had some kind of cut, you know what a cut feels like. Your body's going to cringe. You're going to go, Oh yeah, I know that one, but you're not feeling my pain. You're feeling your own from the memory of your own experiences. So people, when you're looking out in the world and you're thinking you're, you know, you're thinking you're feeling somebody else's pain or you're not, it's yours. So this is a good barometer for you in your own self to recognize, oh, I'm feeling pain. I'm crying over somebody else's story. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's my pain I'm feeling. Okay, just a little thing to be aware of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And and also it's it's the same thing when we feel we are triggered by someone or an experience. Yep. Yeah, but many times the the ego doesn't like that because it's uh it can't like <laughs> make others responsible anymore. So it's uh I know, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. Wait, no, no, not me. <laughs> Yeah, but, being responsible uh, yeah. and accountable is huge, people. It's like, wake up, mature. <laughs> wake up and mature and become accountable and responsible because you really are. And here's the other piece. No one's going to change you but you. You're the one who's going to have to do the work. You're, you're going to have to face yourselves and go through it, whatever's there, you know, whatever you yeah. got in your subconscious. You know, it's a solo journey we're all doing together. 
basically. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and once once we 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 choose to face our wounds, like like the amount of freedom that we can experience, it's it's really amazing. And also the love we can oh. feel toward ourselves and and others. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's go yeah. ahead. Monsef, Monsef, I've been on an I've been on my like for, like I started seriously doing healing my own journey in 1984. This last two and a half years have been some of the biggest shifts I've ever had. Okay. Of course, intensity, really massive intensity, but you know, it's just like surrendering and, and I, I don't, the shifts, I just, it's just, it's profound. It really is. So I'm talking a long time people and all along I got better and better, clearer, whatever. But like I said, this last two, moving to Georgia <laughs> changed my world, you know, changed me drastically, like seriously, like the feeling of unconditional love, the feeling you guys, here's another piece. And a lot of people have this, okay? I, it was like, you know, you might be in a relationship or whatever, not whatever, but there's that feeling like you're looking like, looking for the, I call it looking for the one, okay? Is that the one? Is that the one? You know, someone comes in, is that the one? You know, you meet somebody, is that the one? That feeling, that seeking, seeking. I had that all my life and I knew it was the daddy, mommy, daddy wound, okay? So did lots of unraveling, but this year there was an op something happened and I really got it. I got that those pieces and I was able to go through that deep emotion, but I also did some surrendering, you know, the surrender is also vitally important surrendering to what is you guys, I swear. It's like, it's gone. The feeling it's just, there's no thought of it. It's just gone. Okay. This is huge for me because it was my entire life. I mean, I was married, I had kids, but it was still that it wasn't about anybody else. It was that wounded place within. Finally, it, I got it. Finally unraveled it. I mean, <clears throat> for me, I mean, I'm not joking. We're talking my entire life. And now it's like, I'm relaxed. I'm not looking for the one. <laughs> yeah, because I'm the one, okay? I'm the one I've been yeah. looking for. <laughs> yeah, so heart yeah. opening, I'm telling you, it's key. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah exactly. I, I don't remember if there was like a story, because um, I heard someone talking about a book. It was like... Uh, a journey or big pilgrimage of some like birds traveling a long way to mm -hmm. to find maybe the the one or the uh and then what they realize it's when they reach the end goal it was just a mirror and they saw themselves uh <laughs> yeah. In yeah okay yeah. Yeah. i'm telling you people it's like it's just amazing when we just just follow what's happening i mean for me my critter my dog died and that's what got me on um, I, I had the knowing it said drive so I did and that's how I ended up being where I'm at in Georgia and little did I know that the greatest transformations of my life would be happening here you know <laughs> yeah. Yeah. huge exactly. no fun I'm not saying it was fun you have to get this it was yeah. no fun I'm not having fun okay I'm not laughing <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm agree. laughing now okay <laughs> yeah uh, uh, beautiful and also, an, another question about uh, creating our own reality or the timeline that we want to create, um, especially now because, like, um, in, in the world, like new things are, are showing up that can be challenging, and people may be asking, like, um, will be experiencing the same thing as the past or things like that. It feels very like so so many things and mm -hmm. very confusing, mm -hmm. and sometimes if we when we try to focus on our own path, it feels like maybe we don't care about what's happening or um, oh, mm -hmm, we are mm -hmm. not taking what's happening seriously. Mm -hmm. um, but from my experience in the past, when I focused on my path, I could have like experiences that, that were beyond what I, what I dreamed of through the, all the, the chaos. So how do you see that now and how are we able to to shift our focus to what we, what we want to create, to the new earth that we want to create. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Um, so, I mean, the, truly, the bottom line is always, it's always going to be this. We still have to unravel what's inside, okay? And when we're focusing on ourselves, I mean, for some, it might think, wow, you're just, all you're doing is just working on your own self, you know, that type of thing. And yet, this the, the self is the key. So, in order to create what we want to really like 
like now, I mean, after moving through lots of my own stuff, now it's like what's truly awesome, Monsef, is in the past, I'd be concerned. You know what I mean? I'd be like a little bit like, okay, how am I going to do this? I need this much money, blah, blah, blah. And I'd have like a worry in me, okay? And then through the shifting, the worry is not there. I don't even think about it. And this is, this, this is phenomenal, okay? For me, it's like huge. But to not to be thinking about, you know, how am I going to do something? How am I going to create? What happens is, as we start becoming more heart-centered, okay? It's like what our desire is, because now we're aligning with our own, you know, mission, so to speak, with our own higher levels, uh, our, the, the God self over soul, super con we're beginning to align with creation as well. And, and that's because we're no longer in this angst and all these misperceptions and beliefs, because here's the thing, everyone feels forsaken. So if you think you got forsaken in there, and if you got forsaken, you think you're going to open up to creation to receive you won't guaranteed. Okay. Everyone has that wound inside until you don't. Right. So you can be wanting to create, but what happens is, is we be, become, we start to get into the flow of the divine plan in its unfolding. Okay. And when we do that, we're no longer fighting going upstream because we have these thoughts. I want this, I want it to look this way. It needs to be this way, but there's a movement of flow that we're all part of. And when we surrender to that flow, then we can navigate. And then we, when we're navigating, that's different than working hard, you know, going against the flow or trying to get over there when maybe creation has a different plan. Okay. That's another thing I learned. True. This is another piece. This has tripped me out. I was in California. My brother had died and uh, I decided I was going to leave Georgia. So I was going to force quit Georgia. So I come home and clearly that didn't happen because there are many things that my pool was, you know, lead a new liner. Someone needed a place to stay. All these things started happening. And I knew clearly I wasn't meant to leave. So even though I wanted that, I was going to make it happen. It wasn't what was going to happen. It didn't matter what I did. I, it, I was not going to be leaving Georgia. Okay. I just wanted to bring that, that there's a divine plan, people, and we are all a part of it. Okay. I got it big time. We are a part of that plan and we can want what we want. Oftentimes what I'm now knowing is, is that feeling, that knowing desire, which is different than the mind desire, that, that feeling knowing desire comes from direct connection with our own higher, you know, knowing direct, going direct, God consciousness, and that's the flow that we want. So our mind might be thinking, well, I don't like that. I don't want that. I want to do this. But there's something else that's happening. And, and then that surrender, then there's no more angst in the body, people. Okay. There's no more trauma, drama. There's no more poor me. I want it this way. There's no more resistance. It's like now we're in the flow. So we want to be in the flow. So I'm just going to say this. If you're resisting and fighting against something and, it, and it's not happening, just take a step back. Just step back and just, okay, what, what, what? What's my heart's desire here? What am I really wanting to create? And then Hold that, see how that feels, and then ask for that, ask for the doors to open. And they'll open, but they may not be going where you thought you were going. They're going to go where the divine plan is taking you to go, okay? People, there's a massive surrender that we all need to surrender to, because I can tell you straight up, you won't make something happen just because you want to. You're not going to force something, okay? Because there's greater forces, greater powers of your own self guiding you, watching over you, co-creating with you, and taking you places and bringing opportunities to you that might feel like, oh, trauma, drama. Okay, why is this happening? But everything is happening for your highest good, to get you to places where you can face yourself, where you can start to unravel and clear and heal, where you can, you know, take that ride and magic happens, miracles happen. Okay, but people, you have to learn on your, you know what I mean? You're going to, you'll get what you get. You'll learn what you learn. Like I, my journey had to do my journey. I had to walk my own path. And I, you know, I did that and continue to do that. And Monsef does the same thing. But, you know, we're, I think both of us are more acclimated towards the, the, at that higher level, higher knowing that guide, you know, that guides us. And when we're in flow with that, then your whole world is unraveling perfectly, divinely. And then there's no more angst in your body. You know, you're not no more like, it's got to be this way. Why isn't this happening? 
poor me, I'm being victimized again, everything I, whatever, whatever, whatever your story is, okay? So we start dropping our story and we get in the flow. And that's the, that's the key. You want to be in the flow. So when we're resisting, fighting against the flow, you know, we're going to be in trauma. We're going to be in angst. We're going to be in suffering. So again, I'm coming right back to it. Do your inner work. <laughs> Always come yeah. down to that. Right. Uh, yeah, wonderful. So, so like you said, like when we, when we uh, just go with the flow, also it, it, it takes out takes out the, the stress of being over prepared like maybe i'm not ready and because uh, it's going to be very, very stressful when we are in 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 that stage of being um but yeah it's it's like you said it, it's a journey and mm -hmm. uh the more we open our hearts the more it becomes easier yes um, yes yeah and uh really um uh, the uh, Lilia, she wrote, Bonnie, you look more and more younger and glowing. It's time I see you. <laughs> yeah, do your, I'm telling you, I remember way back, you know, and I, when I really got doing every time I'd have a big shift, mm -hmm. I always looked younger. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Wonderful. So yeah. uh, do you feel it's the right time for the group clearing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yep. Thank you. All righty. So people, what you want to do, I just encourage everyone to just, if you can lay down truly. Okay. If you can lay down, lay down. If you can't be sitting really comfortably, the more your body is relaxed, the more energy actually moves. That's why I have people lay down. Okay. So we, what we want to do, because this is really about, you know, you want to be able to create your, your reality. You want to create from a heart space and you want to be able to open your heart even more. So I'm going to go in and we're going to start unraveling and clearing um, some of the interferences, your misperceptions. Here's, I just want to say something about this too. You know, we have these misperceptions about who we are, about being loved, about be, being enough or mattering or being important or valued, okay? All of that stuff. If we have all these angst and broken places inside, we're never going to create. We can't, okay? Because we we're blocked through these misperceptions okay so today i really want to get into the subconscious of, of you and start unraveling you know what's blocking you from just really opening your heart because the heart is key it is the key to everything if that heart is open energy just flows you're in the you're in that divine flow of you know, divine plan it's pretty cool all righty. So what we're going to do, so I'm going to make sure you know, make sure you call me and ask for me to be right beside you. Ask for my presence to be with you. Okay. I'm going to send my awareness, but go ahead and call me in. And I'm going to go ahead and surround everyone with light. Surround the, yeah, the light. So because I move energy quickly, this way it ensures nothing gets escapes, nothing gets out in the atmosphere. So we contain it, keep it contained, keep a safe environment, protected environment so that we can move energy really quickly. Now, what I want everyone to do, I want you're going to light this up for me because that's how I find it. I want you to just go and think about your world. Think about your life. Think about how open your heart is. Think about your heart, feeling into the heart. Is it having, are you feeling wide open, unconditional love? Or when you feel your heart, is there a heaviness? Is there angst? Is there pain? And that's what I'm looking for. So everyone just go ahead, feel into your heart for me right now. And there we go. So I'm just gonna begin. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, 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 good. Okay, good. Yeah, lots of yeah, lots of energy, lots of frequencies in here, lots of misperceptions, beliefs, conclusions based on your past, past lives, energy frequencies that were not unraveled, that you did not heal, are still here. Whoa, man, whoa, 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 whoa. Just got shown massive heart break heartache deep deep i must first i'm just gonna start releasing some of this pain of people that people have the heartache heartbreak in the heart it doesn't matter why it could be losses rejections abandonments betrayals all kinds of stuff i'm going to start releasing that just really presented strongly in my awareness i'm going to start releasing the heaviness the blackness the black heart the black what's hurt so bad it's just an agony excruciating pain in that heart Bringing in the white flame, Holy Spirit, right into that heart frequency. I'm going to go into the well of grief as well. This is massive carryover. You're just piling on grief upon grief upon grief. Well of grief, 
white flame coming into that well of grief. Now let's use that white flame starting to dissolve some of these frequencies of the pain and suffering, anguish carried over from past lives. Also releasing agreements and contracts where you've agreed to have this soul dance, agreed to have these experiences because you didn't get through them before hundreds and hundreds of times. So now you tried it again. Agreements and contracts. There we go. Soul dancing, heartache, heartbreak, all the tra Travis. There we go. Bigger picture. Done. Good. Now, releasing the frequencies from past lives, going through the live stream. Releasing, release, 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 release some of the carryover that you have coming from past lives. All that carryover, the trauma, drama, intense hurt, pain, grief, suffering, abandonment, betrayal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shh. Stop. Ooh, I love that. Karma. I'm going to start releasing karma as well in the live stream. Karmic wheel, present the karmic wheel of everyone. Uh, hang on a sec. One direct, super consciousness, going direct into God consciousness. Can we go ahead here? Everyone, everyone here, can we shatter that karmic wheel? Okay, what, 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 what do we need to do? What needs to happen here? So I get to go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Atrocities, horrors, travesties that you have done to others. Let's just start release, 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 release. Victims, victims, their victims. Clear into the light, accelerate, 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 accelerate. Good now. Now, can we shatter that? There we go. Now, going to your pulling forth the karmic wheel, that back and forth, punishment, rejection, betrayals, all those frequencies back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, we're just going to begin to shatter that karmic wheel because we can. Light, 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 new paradigm, new paradigm, shine on that karmic wheel. Oh, cool. It's already shattering it. There we go. Stop. Nice. Shatter, shatter, shatter. Ooh, sweet. Nice. Lots of karmic energy dissolving all those past lives. Clear, 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 clear. Good. Now, mm -hmm. now coming into the body, into the subconscious where you've got all this carryover, massive carryover. Carryover right there. Light, 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 light. Shatter, shatter, shatter in the subconscious. Direct God Creator Consciousness. I'm going to pull in the God Creator Consciousness, pure unconditional love, bringing that right down, all the way down, and all the way down, 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 right into the subconscious. There we go. Let's release that. Yeah, there we go. Dissolve, 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 dissolve that karmic energy, the beliefs of karma, experiences of karma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Light, 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 light. Good. Releasing, releasing, releasing. Release, 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 clear. There we go. Good. Now I'm going to come back in to that deep, shattered, broken, heartache, heartbroken, beliefs that you're not loved, don't matter, not enough, yeah, don't belong, not important. All the oh, deep, deep, deep grief. Such sad, such sadness. Good. White flame, Holy Spirit, into that deep sad. Let's bring light, 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 light. Into the sound, dissolving, dissolve, 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 clear, 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 dissolving, dissolving, dissolve. Yeah, despondency, despair, right there, right there. Oh, forsaken. Let's go after forsaken as well. Yeah, yeah, right in there, right in forsaken. Oh, big time. Wow, lots of forsaken lifetimes. Whoa, hang on. Now I'm going into the subconscious. Whoa, 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 whoa. Beliefs about being forsaken, massive, deep. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to bring the white flame into that. We're going to go back into the core, the core, original core, forsaken. That could be original separation for most people. We're going to go all the way back to the original, original cause, original reason, feeling like you're forsaken. Right there, right there. Mm -hmm. Yep, right there. Yep, 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 yep. Good. Now, in that place right there, some, it's right that original set where you became aware of your own awareness, the original separation, big angst right there. We're going to go right into that energy frequency of the big angst, waking up to your own awareness, becoming a separate individual so, soul, so to speak, still part of creation, but still that frequency that you are separate. Big angst right there, right there, right there. Now, I'm going to pull you back into the oneness. So just going to relax for a moment. Just let everything go. Just pulling you right back into the oneness where there is nothing, no thing, no thoughts, nothing, no existence. You're just pure awareness. 
no angst, no worries, no traumas, no, no wounding whatsoever, pure, 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 connected with everything, all that. Yeah, there we go. Now pulling you back out, right there, there we go. There's that angst again, separation. Now I'm going to start releasing some of the frequencies that got anchored into the soul at that level. Release, 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 the trauma, the frequency, the misperceptions, belief that you're separate, alone, right through there, releasing, releasing, light, 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 good. Now I'm going to pull you back into the pure awareness to greater, greater God consciousness, which is all only awareness. There's no angst, there's nothing there. There's no trauma, drama, there's no judgment, there's no right, wrong, good, bad. It's pure awareness where everything arises from. Pulling you back into that state for a moment where there's nothing, no thing. And then pulling you back out where you begin to have awareness of your own awareness right there. So the separation, becoming an individuated soul. There we go, even more energies. Release, 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 release. And then activating the pure, pure, pure light that you are at that level right there. The soul, there we go. Pure love and light, 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 light. Pure love and light, pure love and light. Good. Now we're going to come back down to the through the live streams, all those angst, all those traumas, all those energy frequencies that have been affecting you through every single lifetime, the misperceptions and belief that you're separate, that there's something wrong with you, you're not enough, you're forsaken, you're bad. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Trauma, 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 shatter, 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 shatter. Coming through your live stream. There we go. Coming through. There we go. Good. All the way here. Now coming right back into your subconscious right here, right now. Going back into the wounding, the hurts, the forsakens, all that heartache, heartbreak, not enough, poor me, victim, bad. Yeah, 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 yeah right there. Okay, I'm going to wall of grief again, back into wall of grief. White flame, let's just keep dissolving, dissolving, dissolving the frequency, the intensities, the pains of so many lifetimes of great suffering. So, so many lifetimes of great, great suffering. Light, 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 light. Pure love and light, pure love and light. White flame, Holy Spirit. Love and light, love and light. Light of the all that is. God, creator consciousness coming down to meet that white flame in that well of grief. Pure, 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 unconditional love. Right there, there we go, there we go. There we go. It's dissolving, dissolving, dissolving. Lifetimes, lifetime, 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 lifetime. Heartache, heartbreak, shattered, broken, destroyed, just mm-hmm. Light, 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 dissolve, 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 dissolve. Clear, 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 clear. Light, 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 light. I'm gonna keep that going. I'm now going to the subconscious, which is different than the well of grief that's lodged in the core of your being. The subconscious is in the mind. Going into the subconscious now again. Yeah, now we can start moving more of this pain and grief and suffering, feelings and of being forsaken, not enough, not love, not belonging, not important. All those feelings that we have, being in a body, that disconnect, separation. In the subconscious now, came in the subconscious, bringing in the white flame into the subconscious, bringing in God, creator consciousness, pure love and light, right into the subconscious as well. Moving right in, right in. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Mm -hmm. Working together now, white flame, the light of the all that is, pure and conditional love and light, and the white flame. Working together to dissolve, 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 dissolve all this heartache, heartbreak. This is not the absolute. It's just emotional energy based on misperceptions and conclusions and experiences, gathering proof and evidence. Yeah, there we go. Good. Light, 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 light. Yeah, this is not the absolute. It's emotional energy. It is not who you are. It is not you. Releasing from the subconscious. Release. Okay, just bringing in. There we go. Let's get that white flame expanding, expanding, expanding in the subconsciousness. The yep, God creator consciousness, pure love and light in the subconscious, expanding, working together with the white flame, dissolving even more, more and more and more and more and more misperceptions, beliefs, conclusions. Poor me, victim. Yep. 
Okay, right there. I don't belong. I don't belong. I'm not wanted. Dissolve, 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 dissolve that heartache belief. Evidence proof. Conclusions based on massive amounts of past lives, trauma, dramas, horrors, crisis, tortures, all kinds of energy frequencies, proving that you are in suffering. Light, 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 light. Evidence proof. Be gone, be gone. Clear, clear, clear. Lifting, lifting, lifting. Clear. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. Now let's go into that forsaken energy. Forsaken. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest one right there. Not loved by creator. The creator of all things right there. You're not loved. Belief, misperceptions. Wrong. Angst. Ooh, angst. Big angst. Coming into the angst. What, 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 what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Experiences, lifetimes, traumas, direct experiences. There we go. Now we're going to start releasing the traumas of those experiences that proved that you were forsaken. Mm -hmm. Right there. Big, deep emotion. This is deep, deep, profound emotion and suffering. Great suffering. Now just dissolving now, dissolving the great suffering, the great pain. Yes, the great heartache. Great being forsaken, light, light. Mm -hmm. Maybe pulling discarnates out as well. Remember, discarnates are going to be attached to all these emotions. You got to get discarnates out as well. Bringing in loved ones, bringing in messiahs, bringing in emissaries of the light. Come, 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 come. Now, let's wake these people up. Look, today's the day, special day. Salvation, absolution. Yes, yes, yes. Liberation. Today, look, look, look. Loved ones are here. Look, look, look. Messiahs are here. Look. Wake up, wake up, wake up. You, wake up. Look. Yeah, they've come for you. Let's go. Go, look up. Come on, let's go. Emissaries, escort, take them out, lift them up. There we go. Go, go, go into the light. Going home. Loved ones presenting, loved ones reaching down. All these, yeah, just mm -hmm, forsaken, forsaken. Look who's presented. Look who is here. Look at the messiahs who are here based on your cultural beliefs. Right there. Look, 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 look. Mm hmm, mm hmm many mm -hmm. there we go they've come for you come to take you home go 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 lifting 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 go 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 beautiful sweet nice lifting 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 good now coming back into the subconscious this one unravel even more another layer of the subconscious where we got still forsake whoa what was that what is this Okay, some people want to hold on to this. Is that what's up? Okay, why? Oh, beliefs, beliefs. Better to suffer. Better, better to be the meek. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, this is. See, these are misperceptions. This is not godlike. Godlike thrives. Godlike's full of love. Yeah, right here. Okay. Yep. Yeah, misperceptions. You got. I got some people in here. Some of you literally are wanting to hold on to your suffering. Because on some level, there's a belief that you'll be more godlike. This is not true. This is not an absolute. This is a misperception conclusion. Shatter that. Shatter, 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 shatter. Agreements and contracts. Bigger picture. Pass slide. Done. Shatter that. Good. There we go. There we go. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, let's get that energy moving out, that frequency, that poor me, the great suffering. God has forsaken you. Yeah, being forsaken. Not enough. Must be something wrong. Forsaken. Dissolve, 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 clear, 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 dissolve, dissolve, dissolve. Good, 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 good. Lifting, 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 dissolve. Good. Good, beautiful, good, lifting, lifting. Now I'm going to go back to that well of grief. Yep, 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 lifting even more, dissolving, dissolving, white flame, white flame, white flame coming in. Yep, God, creator consciousness, pure and creation, love and light coming in. Dissolve, 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 dissolve. There we go, good. Now one more time back into the subconscious, misperceptions, forsaken. Yeah, poor me. Dissolving, lifting, lifting, light, 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 light,
good. Releasing, releasing, releasing. Clear, 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 clear. Now I'm going to the heart chakra. We want the, this is where we experience that unconditional love. So the heart chakra, I'm going to the heart chakra now. Right into there, finding aspects of you. Find, yeah, right there. Parts of you. Yeah, don't desert right there. Look at, come here. Look at me. I'm not, yeah, come here. Now I'm just going to gather these aspects of you. There's more than one. I'm going to take you up and show you the agreements that you made for these experiences. Okay, come with me. I got you. Come on. There we go. Let's go. Look, 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 look. In between, look. Agreements and contracts. Look, look, look. Soul dancing. See that? Now, bigger picture. Bigger picture. See that? We got it? All right. Let's go. All right. Come on. Now, we're going to come right back into the heart chakra. Those aspects of you that have been hiding out, feeling forlorn, feeling forsaken, shattered and broken, not loved, not wanted. Yeah, we done with that dance? Good. Now, we're going to come out of the heart chakra. And I'm going to connect you with your true energy, your true essence, which is that light, pure, pure, pure light inside, the pierce light that you are, your unconditional love and light. These aspects of you that were in the heart, traumatized, shattered, broken, forsaken, those aspects of you now emerging into that light energy, into your light. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Light got brighter. Light, the light got brighter. Beautiful. Good. Now I'm going to come right back to the heart again. Good. Now we're going to start releasing some of the hurts, some of the traumas, all the different frequencies that are still blocking the heart from being open. Releasing even more frequencies, heartache, heartbreak, tragedies, travesties. Ooh, guilt, shame. Whoa, uh, guilt, shame for things that you have done, beliefs that you've caused harm. Guilt and shame, regret, guilt, shame, regret. We got oh, okay. I gotta start releasing, clearing guilt, shame, regret out of that heart. I'm gonna release it out of your subconscious as well. Guilt, shame, regret. These are huge, huge energies. They will block you, mess you up all the time. Releasing, 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 releasing. Yep, guilt, shame, regret. Release, 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 clear, clear, release. It's not the absolute, it's an emotion. Based on conclusion, myth perceptions. Now back into the subconscious, guilt, shame, regret, spinning those energies out, 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 dissolve, 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 dissolve. White flame, white flame, white flame, God creator consciousness, pure unconditional love and light, working together in that subconscious, releasing guilt, shame, regret, more, 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 dissolve, 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 clear, 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 clear. Guilt, shame, yes, yes, yes. Guilt, shame, regret, clear. Lifting, 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 shatter. White flame, blow it up. Come in, come in, come in. There we go, good. There we go, light, 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 light. Debris, debris, debris. Coming out, 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 out. Release, 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 release. Clear, 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 clear. Release, 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 release. Good, good, good. More, more, more. Dissolve even more. Clear, clear, lifting, 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 clear, 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 clear. Dissolving, 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 even more shame, guilt, and regret. Dissolve, 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 dissolve. Clear, 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 clear. Release, 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 release. Clear, 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 clear. There we go. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Now I'm going to go back into the heart chakra. Now I'm going to go down deep, deep, deep into the heart. Okay, I'm just looking for more pieces, more frequencies, interferences, blockages. Now let me just make sure we get any other interferences where people don't want you to have the heart open. Interferences where people want to cause you harm. Enemies, mm -hmm. jealous people, envious people, people who want to undermine you, want revenge, want to torture, want to cause you harm. There we go. Look, 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 everybody, all souls. Look, look, look at this. Soul dancing. Look, look, look. Agreements and contracts. Understand. Bigger picture. This dance is done. New paradigm. Frequency of the new paradigm shining on everyone. Waking them up. There we go. Got it. This dance is done. This behavior is done. Yes, the karmic energy done. You're done with this. Moving to the new paradigm. Yes, 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 yes. Now, coming right back, right back to that heart ch chakra area. 
into that frequency, going into the frequency of your own unconditional love and light. Good. Now, now I want everyone just taking your awareness and you're going to just take your awareness down into your heart chakra, just though you're going into the heart, taking your awareness down your body into the heart. And you're going to lean back into the heart. There's a light in there. Look for the light. Doesn't matter how big or little it is. Take your awareness into that light. This is your light. Everyone has the light. Everyone. You cannot exist without it. Everyone. The meanest, evilest, to the darkest of dark, to the lightest of light. Every sentient being has this light. Now, you're taking your awareness. And you're going to go right into that light because you can. Seeking your own light within. Right there. Now, going into that light, be blinded by your own light. I don't care if it's the size of a grain of sand or grapefruit. I don't care. Go into it with your awareness. Now, all these aspects of you that were outside of you, there's many more in here. You're going to begin to call back even more of you, the parts of you that did get rejected, that took things personal. These aspects of you that are pushed out, rejected, cast out, judged, shamed, whatever. You're calling them back now, all these aspects of you, call back your little ones into this light, bring them into the light, absorb them into the light. They'll begin to connect with that frequency of pure love and light, because that's who everyone is. All these parts of you being judged, you judge yourself, okay? Pull, pull those judged parts back in. Yep, 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 yep. All the judged parts of you, pull them back in to that light. You're pulling all of you, little aspects of you, you coming back. That, calling you back into the light. Think of things where you judge yourself, that you don't like about yourself. These are aspects of you that you're judging. Call them into the light, into your light. Pull them in. You don't have to like it, but you're all going to pull them back in. Whatever you have found fault with, whatever you want to punish yourself for, judge yourself for, find fault with yourself for, because other people seemingly did it to you. Remember, it's a soul dance. You called it in. Take an accountability responsibility. Now you're pulling yourself back in, pulling you right back into your own light, your own divinity, your own, own beautiful, pure, unconditional love and light. Pulling these aspects of you right back into you, into your light, into you, your divine light, your divinity. Now, you're just going to begin to sense, know that many more pieces of you, more aspects of you have literally come right back into your body. More of you is here. Now, you're just going to be in this light for a moment. This light is pure love, okay? There's no wounded. There's no poor me. There's no hurt. There's no, oh, baby, oh, baby. There's no, I need, I want. There's no, I love you, I love you. No, it's pure love. Now, just be in here for a moment. There's nothing here. It's peaceful. It's quiet. It's serene. It's light. It's love. That's it. Nothing here. Now. Just for a moment, be there. Now, expand. Expand your awareness in that light. You're expanding that heart energy. You're expanding the frequency of that love. So you're expanding unconditional love. You're expanding it in your own self. Expanding it so it begins to push out of sight of your body, goes into your aura. We're going to call in your light body, murky body, astral body, etheric body, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical body. All levels of you are now being embraced and included in becoming encased in that light. Pure, 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 pure love and light. And then I want you just to see yourself in front of you, okay? Right in front of you. Now, from this place, you're not going to find judgment. You're doing nothing but sending love. Pure, pure, pure love to you. When you love you, I guarantee you, you'll love everybody. So right there, that you, right in front of you, just look into the eyes. Look at the soul of this being. Look at how much you have lived, what you have gone through. All the things that you have experienced. You're in a magnificent being. Now you're just going to hold pure, pure, pure love for that aspect, for you. For the you that you are. For all you have lived, all you have experienced, all you have known, all of you. And then include all those lifetimes, many, many, many lifetimes. But now you're going to begin to pull that you back in. Yep, pull that you right back in. Bring it right back into your, into that light, into the light of pure love, your light, your divine light, pulling you right back into you, back into your 
itself. Now from here, you're going to look out into the world. You're going to see all the devastations, the horrors, all the things that are happening, all the travesties. And then, but you're just also going to begin to be in a state of neutrality where you're just neutral. In a state of neutrality, you're no longer being whipped around. You can see, see things more clearly. And you can shine your own light onto the horrors that are happening, the crises that are happening, all the things that are happening throughout the entire world that you're hearing about. All you're doing now is just shining that frequency of pure, 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 unconditional love and light onto everything out into the world. Beautiful. Good. Now, we're just going to begin to let go of everything, letting go of all the images, letting go of all the pictures, just letting go of all sensations, thoughts, feelings, emotions, everything, letting go, feeling your own body, feeling your awareness, feeling your breath. You're going to come right back here to this now moment, feeling yourself, feeling your blood running through your body, feeling your breath. And then when you're feeling your awareness right here, consciousness here and present, fully here, you can open your eyes and be here now. Yeah, well, thank you so much, mm -hmm. uh, Ronnie. Uh, yeah, very, very powerful one. I mean, for me, man, when connection to that light through unconditional love, it felt like very expanding. Mm -hmm. um, and at the same time, like like through the clearing, I got the image of, it's like there is nothing to worry about, like the, the outer world, it's not really important. Uh, mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it, it will adapt on its own. Like it's more about me and yeah. connection to the heart, and yeah. that's that's the most important thing. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, and um, mm -hmm. Anna, sure, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, and let's we will start taking questions a little bit. But before that, I would love if you can. Um, Tell us about the, the, the package you are offering. Oh, yes, this package. So yes, it says I mean... uh, mastering self and expanding yes. into higher consciousness. Uh -huh. and I, will yes. share, I will share the link. So it's uh, yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Bonnie. Yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Bonnie. B-O-N-N-I-E. Or you can click on the special offer button, which is on the live events page, later on the replay page. The link on... Um, YouTube video description and also on the chat boxes on Zoom and YouTube. So mm -hmm. yeah, I would love if you can tell us about this package. Yeah, so this is really cool. So the first, so the package has release from past life trauma. Okay, so I just want to make it really clear when you do these recordings, you're all you're doing is you you listen to them, but call me in because that's the key. This is what I was shown way back in 2010 when I first started doing these call me in. So whenever you're listening to these, you call me in, I'll be working on you and energies will get moved. It's really awesome. Okay. So think about all the past lives affecting your current, you know, reality and what, you know, clearing out that kind of energy, the traumas from past lives. Okay. And then to elimination of elimination of limiting false beliefs. Everyone has false beliefs, everyone. Okay. So we dissolve, we start releasing, same thing. So this is a, a clearing, okay? This is, and then the other clearing is removal of outside interference, okay? So negativity that disrupt your connection. Um, it can be people, it can be energies, it can be interferences, all kinds of things outside of you can be affecting you, you know, that, that are interfering with your own connection, going direct, okay? And then deeper meditation, this one is... Uh, a guided meditation uh, approach that's like um, we're opening up you to go deeper into your meditation so that you can have deeper connections, more clarity, uh, more, more connection starts to happen. You start awakening when we're in a state of pure awareness and we're resting in that, everything arise, rises up from that place of silence. So that's majorly important that we do that. And then, um, so there's also support for continuous healing. There's a combination of videos and audio files that support and reinforce the clearing process that integrates into your life. And then, you know, we're about ascending into higher consciousness. And you might, you might want to read all these things here because there's a lot of information. 
So basically, uh, you know, we're, we are ascending higher consciousness and, you know, it's like uh, giving information. And like I said, there's videos, things of that nature. So, and then also the next one is opening your heart to truth of who we are. Okay. So like we were doing today in the core, there's that pure love and light. And most people don't even know it exists. I remember, I remember when I first, way back, I, when I demons, even demon, everything, I'm telling you, every sentient being has it. Okay. So there's a clearing here to help to show you who, you know, your true spirit, who you are at the, you know, hold you in your core. And then activating your true purpose. That's another very cool one. It's like, um, you know, going in there and, and literally unraveling patterns, belief, self-doubt, that type of thing, so that you can start connecting with your own self. And then we have awaken to your higher potential. Um, you know, clearly, this is it's still all about clearings. Okay, so each one is a specific topic that's devoted to that issue in particular. So you'll have that. Then we have three bonuses. Oh, oh, oh this is a good one. Connecting to Christ consciousness. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember these. Okay, then meeting your super consciousness. That's the highest level of who you are before you enter and go into creator God consciousness. So it's a guided experience to take you there. And then also a guided one too is, is meeting your higher levels. People, your higher levels are the aspects of you. Like for example, let's just say, okay, I want a job. I want this kind of job. I'm looking for this. You're putting energy out there, but you're, you know, you're, you're being clear. Your higher levels are up there. If this is, if this is part of your divine, divine plan unfolding, it will happen. If it's not, it'll be different. But these aspects of you are working with other higher levels, pulling things together. So you want to be able to communicate with your own higher levels. Okay, simple. So what you receive is mastering self and expanding into higher consciousness. And that's the package. Okay, so it's like, Ascending higher consciousness, opening our heart to truth of who we are, activating your true purpose, awakening your higher potential, connecting to Christ consciousness, meeting your super consciousness, and meeting your higher levels. So we, we got amazing value here. Cool. Yeah. All right. So that's what that's the package. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, uh, Ronnie. And uh, yeah, uh, all of them are, are really powerful and like we we mentioned earlier, or you mentioned earlier, that I feel like they they all can can help to to realize that we are the one, and like everything that we want will come up from from the center, from this present mm -hmm. moment, or the our core. It's it's there where we start creating, um, mm -hmm. and things will, will get easier when we are in in that state. So. Thank you for so much for that and also maybe we can maybe some may, may ask if if it can be better to um to join the clearings live or recording like for me for my experience like most of the clearings uh that i attended were just recordings and when i first started using them like they were all recordings and really had mm -hmm. uh, um really powerful experience and like you mentioned yeah. we just need to call your presence mm -hmm. and um and uh, it's it's uh, it's the same the same experience. Yeah. So, so. just to, just to share. So when I, when I was yeah. first, right before I started doing these, it was in 2010, and yeah. I remember I was like, okay, I need to reach. I need to be able to reach more people at one time. So then I got the knowing again. Remember, I it's like everything I do, I get direct knowing. Okay. So I was shown. I knew. Oh, have people call my presence in, and that way it just. It just change. It's a game changer in just you know listening to a recording. Call me in. Then we got. Some, I mean, they're going to work no matter what, but they'll be even more profound when you call me in. So it really does yeah. work. It really yeah. does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Very grateful to you and uh, everyone. So yeah, I invite you to sign up um, for this uh, really powerful package. And again, the link is yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Bonnie, yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Bonnie, B-O-N-N-I-E. Or you can click on the special offer button, which is on the live events page, later on the replay page, the link also on YouTube video description, and the chat boxes on Zoom and on YouTube. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of feedback about the group clearing. Anna, thank you. Amazing clearing. Uh, Minnie left me. Uh, thank you as always. Brilliant clearings from 
Leticia, uh, Sandra, thank you so much. Lots of love. Um, feeling so much lighter and uplifted from Linda. Rosemary, that was amazing. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, so can we start taking questions? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is one. Yeah, from Tanya. How do we know if something we want is not supported by the divine and we need to let it grow or it is not in divine timing and we just need to surrender and wait for the right timing? Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a good question. Um, some oftentimes when we when we want something, okay. So, like for example, remember I was sharing earlier when I, I was going to quit Georgia. I wanted that, but it wasn't coming from this the the knowing. It wasn't coming from my my core. It wasn't coming from within. It was become it was coming through the mind thoughts, through a, a desire, through. Uh, uh, an angst, meaning I was unhappy. I didn't like something, so I wanted to change it and I was going to make it happen. So it's coming more from the mind, okay? So here's another really good key. This is like really key. When it's on purpose, when it's part of the divine plan, things just start unfolding, okay? You might have a few little trip ups here and there, but things pretty much flow and it's with ease. It starts to think this shows up, that person shows up, things start to happen, okay? When it's not, you hit roadblock after roadblock, stump, stop, doesn't work, whatever. So when you're, ha when it, this is true for everyone, okay? So when that's happening, you, if you're trying to make something happen and it's not happening, it's time to let go. Okay, you give it a little, give it some try, do your best. Not happening, clearly it's not meant to be. And, you know, through, through my own journey, that's what's happened just to share another piece, Monsef, was, I now surrender. I've I've totally surrendered to the flow. If, if the, I don't even, I, there's no even not even a thought. Like it'll present it if it's meant to be or otherwise. I'm doing nothing. So people, I'm not saying to do that. I'm just saying that when you're you have a feeling, a desire, you feel it from within. It feels good. It, it feeds you, and you move in that direction. Things unfold, and that's part. Then you're on the right path. You know, or if you're feeling stuff and it just isn't happening then that's your, that's your signal that no, not time yet. It's, it's either not time yet or uh, it's never going to be time. Okay. Like just another quick little example. When I first moved to Georgia, I was staying with friends. I wanted to find a place, you know, every day looking, 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 trying to make it happen, you know, but I also had that knowing, ah, oh, the right place is coming. It's just not here yet. Okay. So I knew that, but I still was wanting. I let go. And then all of a sudden I got the perfect place. So, People, you know, sometimes things take a little longer because things have to be aligned. You know, everything lines up. And sometimes it is that it is in the divine plan, the divine fl flow, but it's just not timing yet. So take a seat back. If it's still in your heart, then pretty soon, then you'll have that knowing and then you'll be moving forward again. But yeah, everyone has that ability. Everyone. Fighting uphill? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Um... Like regarding divine timing, it happened to me. I had a plan. I wanted to visit a country so much, but it didn't work out. Mm. And mm -hmm. then after a few years, I was able to go. And the experience in the second time, it was really amazing. That's, yeah. I realized if I went the first time, it's, yeah, I wouldn't enjoy it as much. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. crazy how I, I, yeah. I, I, I watch that when people's live, you know what I mean? Not just my life, but I watch it in other people's lives. There's a, there is a timing. There really is. Sometimes it's like it's meant to be, but it not yet, not yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. And also related to, um, to the flow, going with the flow, it's a question mm -hmm. from Steve. Does it relate to free will? Um, like when you were sharing about the flow earlier, uh, yeah. I think here that's like, so from an understanding, like where, how, how does going with the flow relate to having free will, uh, <laughs> divine will is, uh, versus free will? Yeah, 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 that. <laughs> yes. Okay. So here's the thing. I'm going to, I'm going to, let me just shatter some misperceptions about reality. Okay. Or about belief systems. Everything is God's will. I'm sorry. Okay. So you have what you're feeling something 
it's when you're fighting against that, that we have all the angst. When we have a feeling or a sense, a desire, and it, it comes from that heart place, we're in the flow. We start, we move, all of a sudden things are moving perfectly, easily, whatever, okay? When we're trying to use our will, okay, like we all, people all think that we all have, you know, we all have our will and we can, you know, do, do what we want, whatever, which we can. And here's the thing. Everything is that's happening, that's unraveling, that's in that flow is creation's will. Bottom line. Okay. There is no, nothing but that. So check this out. Y'all know this. You hear it all the time. You know, God is inside of you. Creation is inside of you. Okay, well, you are that. You are creation. You're just a finger. Like here, here this is creation. We're just fingers of that. We're all creator, creation. We don't know that and we don't remember because all the interferences, we're not meant to remember when we're in these bodies, okay? But basically, your will is creation's will. It is the will of creation, okay? And when we're in that flow, not fighting it, then it flows. Again, if we're resisting, we want something different. Like, for example, when I said I'm going to force quit Georgia because I didn't want to be here, okay? Because I have so much, <laughs> so much stuff happened here. So I was blaming Georgia, okay? It was all me, but I didn't want to be here. So that was my will trying to fight against what was not going to be, okay? So when I got back, all these things happened, massive things. And I knew it. I got, okay, fine. And then all the other beautiful things unraveled because of that. I had a, my whole massive journeys happen. Massive healing unraveled happened because of that. So what I'm saying is I was in an angst. I wanted to quit, force quit Georgia. And that was my will. My will came up against divine, divine consciousness, divine plan. I got shattered in ways I'd never been before differently. And it shifted and it changed me. And now I'm experiencing unconditional love, okay? I'm experiencing, I'm in the divine flow. I'm experiencing, I've relaxed into the all that is. It doesn't matter. Every I know now everything. I have to do nothing. I'm just relaxed into life, okay? So people, yes, we have our will. We come up against, we fight, whatever, whatever. But there's always a flow. And when we're in it, things are much easier. But my point is, is that we have to come up against things. Otherwise, how are we going to find the wounding? How are we going to know that there's an angst in here? There's still something more. There's still some kind of broken, shattered misperception. Poor me, me and my daddy or whatever that is. You know, when, until we get that, we're still fighting against the flow, trying to do what we think we want. But there's some I, you know, people I've never experienced this in my entire life where I've literally <laughs> have surrendered to what is like, seriously. All righty then, you know, it's like, and there's no angst. It's not about giving up. It's the surrender to what is, to set a greater, greater consciousness, a greater, you know, greater divine plan. So, you know, people just do what you do till you don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, it, it feels like so much freedom when when we are in, in that state. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, think, I mean, I bet you guys, seriously, I've been on a serious journey since 1984. Okay. But I didn't get here till I got here. So relax. Everything's fine. All perfect order. Nothing yeah. to worry about. <laughs> yeah. You started when I was born. I was born in 1984. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah. Beautiful. So, uh, Abby, can you please unmute yourself? Hello. Hmm. Oh, she, she's anything. unmuted, but she we don't hear. I don't. But I don't hear anything. I'm not sure what's happening. So, if you have either a mic that have maybe mute button, you can check that. Or maybe we can, we will come back to you maybe. Yeah, if we have time. Uh, Anna, can you please unmute yourself? Yeah, hi. Um, yeah, hi. that was amazing clearing, Bonnie. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I was just really hoping to get some insight into, um, I kind of like have a real kind of, reluctance uh you know or resistance to follow my good or 
you know, like what I want. Um, it just, <laughs> I just find it really hard to do. And um, uh, yeah, so like, a, you know, I was told a while ago that I have like um, the vows of like a, mon uh, a monk or a nun. Um, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Um, yeah, so I don't know if you could uh, identify <laughs> what's going on. Okay, just so I, I think, just so I can make sure I understand. So you have, so you're resisting things that you have a desire to do? Is that yes, what yes, yes. Okay, hang on. Hang on, so you have, a, okay, so you have resistance to, to think, so that you have a desire, which comes more from the heart, yep. And then there's, an, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so there's a lot, yeah. Partly what's happening, you do have a lot of interference in you, okay? I, there's definitely some mass of um, energy frequency, like a major discarnate. Is this like a, is this someone who wants to, is this like an enemy? Is, is this one, this one inter, wants to interfere with her? Yeah. What, does he want to hurt her? No. But is he trying, is, thinking, is he trying to help her? Oh, he thinks he's helping, protecting. <laughs> okay, hang on. You got, you got someone in here who thinks they're protecting you, okay? Yeah. This is a discarnate. It's pretty big energy. Right. So let me just check that out. Okay, let me just see. So that guy, it's a male energy. What is this from past? Yeah, past life. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know you want to protect her, keep her safe, but look, you're you're actually keeping her stuck. You're actually causing her harm. See that? Look. Is that what you want to do? No. Okay. So you do understand you need to come out of her body. Good. All right. Can you see the light? Emissaries, look who's coming. Reach out. There we go. Come out. Yeah. The energy coming out of her body. Go, 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 go. Yeah, there we go. Here's that. Good. Okay, there's one piece of it. So when you think about, when you feel back into that, how's that? When you think about that same thought feeling, let me know what it feels like. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, I suppose it feels a bit, you know, I feel kind of like less constrained now, I guess. Um, but I did notice feeling of like not feeling safe, I guess, um, maybe with stuff I might want to do or something or being free. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's something with that not safe energy. Oh, what is that? What was that? Hang on. There's something here. She doesn't feel safe. Is that with creation? No, not feeling safe in the world. Yeah, I yeah, see so you don't feel safe in the world. Okay, hang on. Yeah, yeah, that's true for most people. Many, many, many people don't feel safe in the world. It's all past life stuff. It's all these traumas. Okay, so what also happens because you don't feel safe, that means you can't trust. So you're not trusting anything. So that's also energy frequencies that are, you know, interfering with, blocking, interfering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so just at least that's coming from past experiences. So dancing, agreements and contracts, big picture, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that trauma of not being safe in the world. Release, 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 release that trauma. <laughs> good, good, good. All right, see how that feels now? Yeah, definitely. It feels better. Um, yeah. I mean, I think I still have like something in my chest or whatever. It just feels a bit like tight, but I'm sure I can. Yeah, work on yeah, it yeah. or something yeah so yeah so i was gonna let you know i mean this isn't me about me doing good clearing everything but yeah. it, it's get the energy started but then also for you 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 need to get you need to get clearing or do whatever you do however you do stuff but the healing uh, part around um there's still some uh some like a black energy in there that doesn't mean good or bad it's just the, yeah. it means unconscious okay yeah so there's unconscious stuff in there and it what it has to do with is trusting so you've had some experiences from past lives evidence and proof that you yeah. can't trust you know people but also you okay. put it onto creation itself okay so some of that kind of energy needs to be unraveled so that'll give you a, a place to work to start clearing out unraveling so that you can shift that that experience that you're having yeah, yeah, so okay. that, that's that, that's that. But what I just cleared from you is going to make a difference. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, I can another... feel it. Yeah. Sorry. My tummy as well just feels a bit jittery now. Yeah. And just yeah. Like, good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Amazing. Right. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Anna. And uh, also thank you, Bonnie, mm -hmm. for the clearing.
and maybe one more question. It's uh, Abby. She she wrote a question. Okay. Her mic is not working. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. She's been feeling attacks taken out of body by ancestral stuff tied to other universes, causing health issues, overwhelm, and confusion. Okay, so she's saying she's in, she's thinking it's coming from ancestral to the bloodline, basically. Yeah. Concept. Okay. As ancestral and other universes. Uh huh. Hang on. Okay, Abby, hang on. So let me just tune in. Is this actually coming? Let me. I'm, I just want to track. I just got this sense of. Is this like, okay? Does she believe oh, that's what she's thinking? Okay. So is it coming through the blood? No. Mm -mm. Okay. So health stuff, things of that nature. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hang on. All right. Mm -mm. Okay. Show me. Show me. Show me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is coming from past life. Okay. Hang on. I'm gonna go into her subconscious for a moment. Mm -hmm. This is massive overwhelm, massive darkness in here. Okay, what's going on here? Health issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hang on, what was that? Do we have dark forces in here? We got interference, dark forces in her subconscious, interfering with her, messing her up because we got some past life where she did uh, do oaths, lit, lit promises allegiances, vows, oaths to the powers of darkness, right there. So we're going to release her from that, right there. Release the vows, promises, oaths that she made with the powers of darkness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any victim frequency, let that be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone, go. <laughs> now I'm going to just take this darkness. She's got a major inner dark force interference right here in the subconscious. You cannot win when you got this in you. You're going to have health issues everything is going to be falling apart because they're torturing you, punishing you. Hang on. All right. Do we have any okay, big guns present? Agreements and contracts, no, no, and void. Good. Now pull this energy out of her subconscious. Command it. Command it. Light, 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 light. White flame, white flame, white flame coming in. Clear, clear, dissolved. Dissolve. There we go. Releasing, 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 releasing. Clear. Light, 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 light. Clear, clear, clear. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, good. All right. Okay, so now the subconscious has definitely shifted in the frequency. We'll put the white flame in there. Right there, let's continue to dissolve all this energy frequencies. Any more minions? Have we got any new demons in here? No, nope. any minions? No, nope. any inner servants? No. Nope. Okay, good. Powers of darkness gone out of the energy field. Good, 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 good. Okay, more light, more light, 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 light. Yeah, see, so she's got a lot of, you know, emotional stuff that needs to be worked on. So that would be my suggestion to start really looking at and clearing out. Like when you think about what's happening, there's an emotion. That emotion is what's drawn it to you. Unravel that emotion and things will start shifting and changing. So you need to do some of that, your own inner work. Use your use what's happening in your world, in your life, and let yourself drop into the feelings and then surrender to those feelings. And then keep dropping, you'll keep dropping in. And when you surrender, it becomes authentic feeling. Then the body takes over. And then energy starts to release and clear. You'll start releasing all this intensity. And then more shifts and changes will take place as well. But this would be a good kick, kick off, kick off, getting that, you know, powers of darkness out of the subconscious, releasing her from all oh, those promises from the past. So, yeah, yeah, that'll make a difference. Yeah. Thank you very much for the clearing. And also thank you, Abby, for your question. Uh, sending you much love. And um, yeah, so Bonnie, thank you so much for everything you shared mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. um okay. that was a really amazing call really loved it um everything everything you shared was really inspiring and also thank you for the the powerful um group clearing mm -hmm. you're very welcome yes yeah. shift happens i'm telling you yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah and Beautiful. with the with the work we do at, at where we at my place is like energy moves quick you don't have yeah. to go through all these emotions i mean there's some emotions you have to go through but a lot can be lifted which is really cool yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah, Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Monsef. Thank you. Thank you, Bonnie. And uh, also, everyone, thank you so much for joining us today, co creating with us this really amazing call today. Thank you for all the feedback. Uh, lots of hearts we are receiving and, uh, and comments. And yeah, thank you for those who ask their questions. And again, you can sign up uh, to get the uh, 
to download uh, Bonnie's package on the link yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Bonnie, yourdivineuniqueness.com forward slash Bonnie, B-O-N-N-I-E. Or you can click on the special offer button, which is on the live events page, later on the replay page. The link also on YouTube video description and the chat boxes on Zoom and YouTube. And uh, Linda, thank you so much. Great call. Jill, wonderful. Th uh, thank you so much for your generosity. Svetlana, thank you for the clearing. Mm -hmm. um, like You're on, very on, welcome, Monsa. On YouTube. What a very nice natural piece. Thank you both so, so much. Um, that was uh, Sarah on YouTube. So, yeah. Yeah, sweet. Thanks for <laughs> having me. Yeah, thank you. And uh, yeah, with that, everyone, I'm sending you so much love. And then we see you on the next call. Bye-bye, everyone.